good morning today i am going to talk about a very important subject and uh, that subject is root of all technology sciences is in vedas right i i will give you the introduction and most importantly this is the topic of my book um machines from aryans machines from aryan nation how technology went from india to germany it went to whole europe but how the germany used the ancient aryan sanskrit technology to make new weapons and used it in uh, second world war so this will cover this whole scope of how the technology transfer happened and in this book you will see first time the description of 63 machines 63 vehicles from sanskrit manuscript and you will find such a bizarre uh, machines in that list which still not in manufacture maybe they are in uh, some research labs of some countries like china this this book talks about submarines this book talk about talks about uh, aircrafts uh, mercury propulsion engine operated aircrafts aircrafts uh, stealth aircrafts then uh, vehicles which can uh, run on uh, road uh, sea and uh, air there are uh, sea boats there are railways there are uh, big uh, machining equipments like everybody knows the jcb which is used for digging those kind of heavy equipments are mentioned uh big uh, machines for mining are mentioned uh, then there are machines for uh, carrying uh load from this one place to other then tanks are mentioned different different octagonal hexagonal lotus shape uh, tanks are mentioned if you have studied the second world war history the main advantage which uh, nazi germany got was their high quality tanks the steel hardened steel they used in manufacturing of their tanks was at par to the other their counter nations like uk or us and the artillery for tank these tanks gave uh, germany and uh, upper hand in that war so in this book you will see a description of tanks and there is uh, such a unique machine uh, which can illuminate the 10 km by 10 km uh, area in the night you can launch uh, they call it is artificial moon nowadays in in china they are experimenting on it that machine is mentioned in this book where this whole area can be lighted up in the night uh there are machines which will use uh, moon rays they will use the power of uh, inherent power because the, the modern science has yet to come to the power of the vedic science in finding the powers in the solar and lunar rays so this work talk about uh, using the power from the solar rays 
then using the powers from the lunar rays this is a this is a path breaking book and uh, what we got from the manuscript uh, are 63 names of these uh, machines or uh, vehicles they are little description from that we try to make some of uh, machines in 3d models or design some we can relate like there is a mention of one bhadrashva yantra uh, if you uh, know the ashwa general meaning of ashwa is horse but if you study the ancient uh, vedic scriptures with uh, scientific eye then the meaning of the ashwa is a vehicle motor bike it can be going in the road or it can be flying horse like a flying bike which is still not in manufacturing anywhere in the world and this meaning of ashwa meaning of word ashwa you should know and first time in india in recent history uh, dayanand saraswati who formed the arya samaj he in his uh, satyartha prakash book he uh, describes about the motor bike he gives the speed of the motor bike also he gives the verse from the book of the king bhoja who wrote the famous uh, samarangani sutradhar so he mentions uh, that bike which used to go by uh, 30 of 35 yojan in one hour in one gatika in 24 minutes so around its speed its current speed will be 80 to 90 kilometers per hour he gives the words of sanskrit words the details of it similar flying motor bike is mentioned in this book now see people before also many people have wrote uh, books if you search on google on the vedic sciences vedic technology uh, many books come and that uh, vimana shastra is one of such book bharadwaj vimana shastra which was published long back people have studied that book in uh, iis bangalore in banaras uh, university but the attitude of the most of the people uh, looking at these books is the are they uh, hoax or most mainstream scientists mainstream historians mock uh, these books they take it as a laugh it's not a laugh i in my next book the subject will come uh, there is a one sanskrit ancient sanskrit book which describes the manufacturing art of artificial gemstones artificial diamonds and it gives detailed design of the machine how to what constituents should be used how the uh, hardness of the natural diamond can be achieved the purity everything the design is also given and we have the french scientists in 19th century who copied the exact same process he took the patent for that artificial gemstone manufacturing process still that process is named after that scientist and if you compare the, the sanskrit book and that patented process from 19th century it's exactly same so the way i i, I want to introduce uh, these books these um, ancient uh, vedic technology ancient sciences in a in a different way than what was what has been done previously in india in india uh, i will not blame 
those people they, they tried with their knowledge but if except few names like dhyanand saraswati who was at very early stage who was at the finding stage because before him only all the our scriptures our knowledge base our sanskrit books were taken from india and changed most of the puranas most of the vedic books and other books are manipulated and most of the scientific and technological literature is totally taken and all the parallel manuscripts all the remaining copies in the indian libraries are destroyed so you will not find anything there is nothing in in, in indian man, indian uh, manuscript libraries or any libraries i have searched so there is nothing in india so every every the whole bunch of those manuscripts which are important for the scientific advancement were taken from india so after that then sirs the first put this knowledge forward then one uh, maharashtrian uh, civil engineer uh, k b waze he wrote many books on it he he traveled all across india in early 20th century and he collected manuscripts he wrote about it he wrote about gear mechanism he wrote about helical gears he wrote about turbines all from the traditional sanskrit sources and uh, he wrote then there was a subbarai shastri from uh, bangalore who got a uh, hold of uh, that bharatvaj gyan shastra amshu bodhini then few other books he got he published it uh, he tried to publish it with designs also the aircrafts aircraft di- diagrams so these three four people and then in let recent years someone from banaras university who made a spectroscope from a description from amshu bodhini working spectroscope and a uh, few people from the birla science institute from hyderabad i think they made they are making some research on this and other than that uh, this whole thing has become a self boosting thing is for most of the indians or uh, traditional hindus like we had everything in the vedas we had everything in our civilization we had everything and just boost and propagate and be happy about it demean other people and we are not going in this way we are not going to boost because now we don't have the enough evidence evidence this is the, the whole literature is gone we have the remnant pages from here and there what we got uh, from the india office library or whatever the remains are there in german libraries or what was published in the uh, 20th century by these writers like uh, subbarai shastri or was a engineer that that part is there so we are going to publish we are going to uh, circulate we are going to put that knowledge which is a hand on which is a practical so something which can be done from that we are not going to boost like uh, whenever the new discovery comes new sci- new uh, scientific research happens like that is in the vedas that is in here that is in there we are not uh, going to do it we are going to publish the Uh, literature which can be manufactured or which can be researched upon and uh, so this this book machines gone aryans is uh, attempt in that direction in this book the first chapter is on the 63 machines which are first time put in the public domain from the ancient sanskrit manuscripts then there is a 
comparison about how anti gravity device mentioned in the viman shastra reach to first to germany which they use in making those flying disks which people call it as a ufos then how it went to the us and the current us uh, astra 3rb weapons and many their secret weapons use this technology so that, that chapter is on that then there is information about the great sage shaunak then uh, there are uh, two important articles which explain the ancient indian ancient aryan engineering ancient engineering from sanskrit the uh, mechanics which is the important basic of uh, engineering and physics so mechanics of five elements how the five elements are used uh, to gain uh, work done from them and uh, this me- mechanics has a tantric angle to it i will give you one one example only there are shatkarmas akarshan vashikaran stamban uchchatan maran shanti there is one shatkarma called stamban and the baglamukhi is a deity of it what is the element on which this stamban shakti can be used that element is water if you want to take the energy from the water first you have to make it stop at some place at a higher location at a higher height it is called the stambhan and from that you use the water to gain the kinetic energy from it. similarly uchchatan is about uh, digging it is related with the earth principle it is action on the earth principle in earlier our technical literature the equipments machines related to the digging drilling will come under the uchchatan the machines related with the using the flow of water like nozzles pumps uh, turbines then vortex flow equipments they will come under the stambhan so two important uh, chapters are there about the mechanics of five elements and then ancient aryan engineering and how uh, these uh, principles are used to manufacture the gear mechanism the helical gears then how they are used to manufacture the electricity the battery that is mentioned then uh, there is one whole chapter about the automation and robotics there was king bhoja from malwa region in middle in, uh, india its capital was near bhopal current bhopal it is called dhara he, he was there in uh, 10th century early 10th century and he wrote his famous book samarangan sutradhara in that in uh, 63rd uh, 43rd chapter in that the whole chapter is on the mechanics and machines and that he he mentions about that famous uh, aircraft which used to run on the mercury and he mentions different uh, applications of robotics and automations you will not believe it if, if you read it he mentions lifts for the king's palace he mentions moving beds he mentions uh, servant robots who will give will bring the rose water milk when the king's king opens his eyes he mentions uh, dancing robot girls they are robots actually who will entertain the king in the pond when he is bathing 
then automatic uh, the whole flow system is there for the water then there are uh, robots will carry weapons outside the palace and try to uh, protect the king and even they they will go to assault if any thief or any enemy comes in the if, if any enemy tries to enter into the palace so he mentions all this in that chapter it's automation and robotics that chapter we have described in this book then there is one chapter on the uh, similar uh, technological equipments and machines mentioned in the sanskrit books mostly literature book there is mention of the passenger flying plane two floor who can fly thousand people we have seen if someone can believe like there were there were aircrafts in india because of the bharadwaj viman shastra book people think it, it, it was like one person maybe four person 10 person can it, it might be of small aircraft it was not like that this was the king of mahabalipuram the two kings the one king from kanchi and the other king from mahabalipuram they were very advanced especially the king from the mahabalipuram in use of technology and he had with him passenger aircraft which will carry 1000 people and in that book it's described how how they travel from mahabalipuram to ujjain and how how long it took it is described in that so this is a very new information for for you and those readers who are interested in the uh, traditional sanskrit sciences and then there is one final chapter on the missile technology that is very interesting chapter and that talks about the jamadagni dhanurved there are few very few dhanurveda books left now uh, vasishta dhanurved is there and uh, shiva dhanurved is there which is also called uh, sarangadhar dhanurved vishwam vasishta dhanurved is called vishwamitra dhanurved and uh, third uh, is aushanas dhanurved dhanurved of shukracharya dhanurved of jamadagni and so this this chapter whole covers the jamadagni dhanurveda which describes the missiles and rockets and how these missile technology went to nazi germany and how they developed the bhiman and v2 rockets and then how they developed the uh, fuel for the space craft how they designed the rockets for the space uh, that topic is covered in this chapter we will know how there are designs for the revolvers there are designs for the big uh, rifles which uh, ammunition should be used in atharvaveda there is a description of uh, guns which will use the lead bullets so that is a very interesting chapter and uh, so this book machines von aryans i think is very very useful for those who are seeking the ancient sciences who have the interest in the knowledge in the sanskrit who are, who have interest in the knowledge in our uh, tradition who believe the scriptures like vedas tantras and puranas and who think the, our civilization was once at very greater heights for all these people this book will be a real treasure it it will open you many pathways for the knowledge and uh, this this introduction i wanted to do this book is now available on the amazon kindle and soon the paperback a uh, hard edition will also come that will be available in few countries the kindle is available everywhere and you should 
really read this book and you can message me on my page or on the channel youtube channel also and give your feedback about this book book name is machines for aryans by shri kutupanandana thank you